Imagine waking up to find your bank account drained, your private messages leaked, and no one, not even the tech giants, knows how it happened. That's not a scene from a science fiction thriller. That's a real-world scenario caused by one of the most terrifying digital weapons in existence, the zero-day exploit. In 2025, cyber attacks are more sophisticated, more frequent, and more invisible than ever. But there's one type of attack that keeps even the most advanced security teams up at night. A zero-day exploit isn't just dangerous, it's nearly unstoppable. These attacks strike before anyone even knows there's a flaw in the system. No patch, no fix, no warning, just pure digital chaos. Whether you're a casual internet user, a business owner, or someone who thinks antivirus software has you covered, this concerns you. In this video, we'll break down exactly what a zero-day exploit is, how it works, and why 2025 has already seen some of the worst zero-day attacks in history. Stick around to find out just how close we all are to digital disaster and what you can do about it. What is a zero-day exploit? Let's start with the basics. A zero-day exploit is a type of cyber attack that targets a previously unknown vulnerability in software or hardware, something even the developers don't know exists. The term zero-day refers to the fact that developers have had zero days to fix the issue. The vulnerability is exploited immediately, often with devastating consequences. There's no time to react because by the time it's discovered, the damage is already done. Think of it like this. Imagine a thief who finds a hidden door to a bank vault. The bank doesn't even know the door exists, so it can't be locked. The thief walks right in undetected. That's the digital equivalent of a zero day. Now let's talk about the real world impact. In the past year alone, zero day exploits have been used to breach multinational corporations, compromise encrypted messaging apps, and even infiltrate government networks. In early 2025, a major zero day attack hit a popular Internet of Things IoT device, a smart home hub used by over 10 million households. Hackers used the exploit to gain control over security cameras, locks, and even thermostats. Victims didn't realize they were being watched until clips of their private moments started surfacing on the dark web. Another chilling example, a vulnerability in a widely used operating system was exploited before a patch could be released, allowing hackers to install ransomware that locked up hospital systems across multiple countries. Ambulances were rerouted, lives were at risk, all from a single line of code that no one knew was vulnerable. And here's the truly scary part. Most zero-day exploits aren't discovered by ethical hackers or tech companies. They're bought and sold in secret in digital black markets for millions of dollars. Have you ever updated your phone or computer and wondered what those security updates are for? Chances are at least one of them was a desperate patch for a zero-day. Drop a comment if you've ever skipped an update and on after this, you might not skip another. So how do hackers find these exploits in the first place? The process is technical, time-consuming, and often performed by highly skilled cyber criminals or even state-sponsored operatives. They comb through millions of lines of code, looking for overlooked mistakes, tiny cracks, and massive digital walls. But more often now, these exploits are found by bug hunters, hackers who specialize in uncovering vulnerabilities. Some are ethical, reporting flaws to companies for rewards. Others, not so much. On the dark web, zero-day exploits are hot commodities. In 2025, prices for a high-value zero-day targeting a major mobile OS can fetch up to $3 million. Some are sold to the highest bidder. Others are hoarded by intelligence agencies. Either way, the public never sees it coming. Who uses zero-day exploits? Zero days aren't just tools for lone hackers and hoodies. They're also weapons of cyber warfare. Governments use them for surveillance or sabotage, corporations use them to spy on competitors, and cybercriminal gangs deploy them for extortion, data theft, and chaos. In 2025, the rise of AI-powered hacking tools has made these exploits even more potent. Machine learning algorithms can now help discover vulnerabilities faster than ever, and launch attacks at speeds no human could match. We're entering a new era where AI writes the attack, deploys it, and mutates it before anyone can respond. Why 2025 is a turning point. This year, we've already seen a 70% spike in zero-day related incidents compared to 2024. Experts warn that 2025 may be remembered as the year we officially lost the upper hand in the cyber battlefield. The defenses we once relied on, firewalls, antivirus, intrusion detection, are reactive. They only work after an attack is known. Zero days make those defenses obsolete. Here's the biggest and most unsettling revelation in the world of cybersecurity. 
Zero-day exploits can remain active, silently working in the background for months or even years without anyone ever knowing. Let that sink in. We're not talking days or weeks here. We're talking about digital landmines buried so deep in our devices that they often sit undiscovered for up to seven years. That's according to a 2024 study by leading cybersecurity researchers. Seven whole years. That means your phone, your laptop, your smart home devices could be compromised right now and you wouldn't see a single warning sign. No error messages, no flashing alerts, no pop-up warnings, just total silence. And during that silence, someone could be watching through your webcam while you work or sleep. They could be logging your keystrokes every time you enter a password reading your private messages, tracking your physical location through your apps, stealing data in the background while you go about your everyday life, completely unaware. This isn't a rare horror story, it's a growing reality. And what makes it even more dangerous is that you might never find out, not until it's far too late. By the time the exploit is finally detected, the damage may already be done. Bank accounts drained, corporate secrets stolen, private conversations exposed, systems locked by ransomware, all because of a flaw no one even knew existed. It's not just terrifying, and it's almost unfair, because with zero-day exploits, the victims never even get a chance to fight back. So what does all of this mean for you? First, understand that no one is completely safe, and not even tech giants like Apple, Google, or Microsoft. They all scramble to fix zero days when they're discovered, but the game is rigged. The attackers always strike first. Second, the idea of privacy is evolving. Every smart device you use, every app you trust, every update you ignore, it's all part of the battlefield now. The only real defense? Stay updated. Enable automatic updates on all your devices. Use trusted antivirus and firewalls. Be skeptical of phishing emails. Avoid sketchy downloads. And if you run a business, invest in threat detection powered by AI because the old tools just won't cut it anymore. Cybersecurity isn't just a tech issue, it's a life issue. And as our world becomes more connected, we all need to be more informed. If this video opened your eyes to the real dangers of zero-day exploits, make sure to hit that like button. It tells the algorithm this is important information. Drop a comment and let us know what's your biggest fear about the future of cybersecurity and don't forget to subscribe if you want to stay ahead of the curve. We've got more deep dives coming on AI, data privacy, and the hidden threats shaping our digital lives. Because in 2025, knowledge isn't just power, it's protection.